my mom's gonna read a little book thing uh, and uh, I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make a letter to my uh, grandma and grandpa so good evening everyone my name is Melissa Simpson this is my son Jeffrey and this is evening prayer on Wednesday December 23rd tonight we are covering the feast day of the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ so if you'd like to pull up your book of common prayer We'll start on page 115. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have a sin against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us of all of our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life, amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. We'll say together, O oh gracious light, on the top of page 118. O oh gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Tonight's psalm is Psalm 96, and that can be found in your Book of Common Prayer on page 725, and we'll say each ver whole verse responsibly. So, pay, so Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols, but it is the Lord who made the heavens. Oh, the majesty and the magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples, Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes. When he comes to judge the earth, he will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson today is from Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 2 through 7.
The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the trapping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For as a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for all the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. <clears throat> the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now let's sing together, or say together, the song of Mary, found on 119. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading is from Titus, chapter 2, verse 11 through 14. For the grace of God has appeared bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from inequity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. Declare these things. Exhort and reprove with all authority. Let no one look down on you. Here ends the lesson. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now we'll say the song of Simeon, the top of page 120. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel reading today is from Luke chapter 2 verse 1 through 20. That's Luke chapter 2 verses 1 through 20. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Cornelius was a governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth and Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to, to deliver her first child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger 
because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you was born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel of multitude of heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to him one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem to see the thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So while today is December 23rd, we are celebrating the feast day on December 25th of the nativity of our Lord Jesus Christ. So it goes. That Jesus was born in a, is a fact both of history and revelation. The precise date of his birth, however, is not recorded in the Gospels, which are, after all, not biographies, and show little concern for those biographical details in which more modern Christians are interested. Such interests began to become prominent in the fourth century, together with the development of liturgical observances, the events of the biblical history. It was in Rome in 336 that the date, December 25th, was settled upon for the celebration of the Nativity. The day coming as it does at the winter solstice was already a sacred one, as the festival of the, festival of the birth of the unconquerable sun, but its correspondence with the historical date of Jesus' birth was stoutly maintained by learned, if indigenous, writers. The observance spread rapidly throughout the West and is accepted also by most of the Eastern churches in which, however, it does not have the prominence it, had, it has in the West. The full title of the feast dates from the 1662 edition of the Book of Common Prayer. Prior to that revision, the date was known only as Christmas Day. The word Christmas, which can be traced to the 12th century, is a contraction of Christ's Mass. So let's continue with the Apostles' Creed on page 120 together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let's read Suffrages A together. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope for the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, 
You make us glad by the yearly festival of the birth of your only Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that we, who joyfully receive him as our Redeemer, may with sure confidence behold him when he comes to be our judge, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O oh God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we, who have known the mystery of the light on earth, may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven where with you and the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Almighty God, you have given your only begotten Son to our nature upon him, and to be born this day of a pure virgin, grant that we who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom with you the same Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Let's continue with the general thanksgiving found on page 125. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful night and a wonderful Merry Christmas. We hope to see you tomorrow for our Christmas Eve service, 630 in our parking lot for our lessons and carols at a safe social distance. And then 8 o'clock online on YouTube for our live Christmas Eve service. Many blessings from the Simpsons to you.